Five steps to create product renders in V-Ray for SketchUp. Step one is to create a studio box in SketchUp. So I'm going to make a box with optimal dimensions. Delete the edges. And I will also reverse these faces. Finally, I'll need to round off this edge. So I will use the round corner plugin. Use an offset of about 0.5 meters, 24 sides, and round off that edge. Now let's place our model in the studio. You can place any model from 3D Barrows. Step two is to create our view. So I'm going to zoom in. And I'm also going to go to Asset Editor, go to Settings, and switch on Save Frame. After which you can change the aspect ratio to 1 is to 1. After doing this, you will also need to change the zoom value. So if I press Z, you can see the field of view is 55. If I change this to say 30, you'll get a better field of view for this render. Finally, create our scene. Step 3 is to add our primary lights and our secondary lights in the scene. So let's go to Asset Editor, go to Lights. We will switch off the sunlight and we'll go to Chaos Cosmos, go to HDRIs and go to Studio and we'll bring in the Studio HDRI. So download and import this HDRI and copy this HDRI and paste it in Environment Light. So now we have the environment light, which is the primary light in our scene. Let's place a secondary light as well. So we will place a rectangular light and rotate it by 180. This will be our secondary light. We can also rotate it at an angle. Next step is to add our light mix. So let's go to Astro Editor, add our light mix, go to settings and run an interactive render. So we will use the NVIDIA denoiser. Finally, you will also need to change the camera settings for studio renders. So you can give an exposure value of around 10 for studio renders. Now let's run an interactive render. So you can see our light values a little too much. So you can reduce the rectangle light. Let's go to source light mix here and reduce the light. Now step four or one of the steps is to also add layers. So I'll add a curves layer, give an S curve to boost the shadows and highlights. And I'll also add a exposure layer and reduce the highlight burns. You can also, of course, increase the environment light for more lighting in your scene. Finally, for the last step is to set up the final render settings. So we'll use the bucket render, use V-Ray, and we'll increase our image size and click on the render button. And we've created our product render in five quick steps. And if you'd like to learn SketchUp and V-Ray, Check out the complete SketchUp and V-Ray course for interior design, which will take you from a beginner to a professional with V-Ray for SketchUp. I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.